Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at rationalising the denominator. So this sounds um, quite complex, um, but continuing on from what we've learned about thirds, what this means is that we're trying to make something that looks like uh, 1 over a root, okay? So 1 over the square root of 3, for example, has an irrational number as its denominator, okay? So this is irrational, this uh, denominator that we have. And we want to rationalise the denominator because things like 1 over root 3 are quite difficult to work with. So we want to make sure that the denominator is rational, but what we're going to get, obviously, is an irrational numerator. So the process is quite straightforward. I'm pretty sure all of you will agree that if I write this as 1 over root 3 times 1, then I have actually changed nothing. Um, if I multiply a number by 1, it doesn't change. So, if I decided to write um, the 1 in a different format, and what I mean by that is if I write it instead as root 3 over root 3, okay, then no, still nothing has changed. Root 3 over root 3 is still 1. The same number is in the numerator and denominator. So nothing has actually changed here, okay? But what happens now is that if I multiply this fraction by this fraction, I get 1 times root 3 is root 3, and root 3 times root 3 is 3. So in actual fact, what I can say is that 1 over root 3 is the same thing as root 3 over 3. The denominator is now rational. The numerator, as I said, would be irrational. Because I'm starting off with an irrational number anyway, and I should end up with an irrational. Okay? Something has definitely gone wrong if I started with an irrational number and I show that it's actually a rational number in a different format. Okay? That wouldn't make any sense. So yeah, so this is a very simple example of how you can rationalise the denominator with a simple fraction like this. Let's go through another example. Let's try another one. Let's say we've got um, something like 2 over root 5. Okay? And now I can perform the same trick. I multiply it by 1. Okay? And what happens is that I'm going to choose the 1 to be root 5 over root 5. Okay, so you can choose what value 1 is going to be. And in this case, I'm always going to choose 1 to be this irrational number, the root 5, over itself. Okay, so root 5 over root 5. If this had been root 7, this would be root 7 over root 7. So then I just have to perform of one fraction multiplied by another. So I get 2 over times root 5 is 2 root 5. And root 5 times root 5 is just 5. And so I have 2 root 5 over 5. And then I'm done. Okay, so I've made sure that this fraction now is the same thing as this fraction. Okay, it's just written in a different way. They are exactly the same thing, okay? But now, I don't have an irrational number in the denominator. Hence, that's why we call it rationalising the denominator. 